What's going on everyone? Today I'm going to be installing this Go Get a Grip shift knob on my Tacoma. So I found this company through Instagram and I was going through their pictures and I thought they had a really cool product, especially since I'm into mountain biking, as you can kind of see back there. So I thought it'd be really cool to have a mountain bike grip as my shift knob. Don't actually hate the stock shift knob on the Tacoma, but you know, I like to mod my truck. I like to make it my own. So I figured why not install it? It's not that expensive. It's like 80 bucks. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and install it. The first step is pretty simple. You just need to take off the old shift knob. And to do that, you just need to push down and pop off the shift boot collar and then unscrew. Okay, the next step is to remove the center console. And to do that, you need to lift this up and then lift your parking brake as far up as it'll go. And then you're gonna pull up from the back cup holder until it pops out and then pull up from the front as well. And that way you can lift up the center console and access the underside so that we can remove this shift boot collar. Okay, once you have that lifted, there's this one plug here that you need to undo. You just push in the tab and pull it out. You can kind of flip this over a little bit and then you'll be able to see what we need to get to in there. I'm gonna pull out the shift boot collar. Mine was already kind of coming off because I messed with it too much, but normally you'll have to cut this zip tie off and then take out the, the shift boot from that. Another thing you're gonna need is this little shift boot cover. I got it from Etsy for 20 or 30 bucks. And basically its purpose is to just click right onto the existing shift boot cover. And that's kind of to clean it up a little bit because otherwise you'll just have this kind of trying to stick in there and that'll be exposed and it doesn't look good. So with this on, see if I can click it on with one hand, then this will kind of sit flush on there and it'll go together a lot nicer. This we're gonna actually have to cut in half just below where the zip tie sits. And that's because this adapter actually sits a little bit too low on the bar so that when you have this whole thing, it kind of clunks around on the actual like grooves in the shifter. So basically we just need to cut this in half so that uh, it kind of will move freely in the shifter. I don't have a vise, so I'm just gonna use this clamp. It's pretty solid, um, but I'm gonna try and cut it with the rotary tool down this line kind of and see what happens. So I switched to the sanding wheel and I'm gonna sand the rough edge on the back of this down a bit so it's nice and smooth and doesn't get hung up on anything. Okay, so now that we got that cut in half, uh, I'm gonna remove the old zip tie and I have a new one here. I think it's a six inch zip tie. And basically what you're gonna do is put this back in the truck and then zip tie the shift boot back to this. So our 
sorry it's getting dark out so it's kind of hard to see but basically there's like a little ripple or ridge uh, where the old zip tie kind of dented in the boot and basically I just line that back up with the groove in the boot collar and then zip tied it back on with the zip tie so now I'm gonna reassemble this uh, poke this back through the hole and see if it looks okay and if not I'll redo it the end of the zip tie kind of made like a bump there so I'm gonna go under and twist it and see if I can kind of put it in a better place I might have to snip it a little bit better okay so you can't really see but I put the part where you cut off the zip tie towards the front because that way since there's like a little gap in here it'll kind of push in the, there a little bit so that should be able to hide it a little bit once I flip it back over and put it on right. It reassembled, uh, looks pretty clean, almost like factory. And I kind of wanted to demonstrate why we needed to do that cut. So like I said, the adapter pushes down a lot further on this. And this boot collar used to be probably like double the width of this. And once it pushes down, you kind of can't move it because it's too far down and it kind of interferes with this. So that's why we had to cut it so that you can kind of still be able to shift since this is pushed down so much further. Now it's time to put on the TRD cap that I got off of Etsy. I'll put the link in the description so you guys can get that if you want to. So like I said before, this cap is going to make it look a little bit cleaner once you put the adapter on, but it also gets rid of your chrome, so that's a plus. I'm going to go ahead and pre-assemble the grip because it's going to be easier to put on that way. So it comes with this bag with a tool and two little screws in it, and basically you just slide this on and then tighten down the screws. All right guys, so here's the final product. I have the truck on. I'm gonna try to go through the gears and just make sure this is clearing fine and fits. Perfect. All right guys, so that's the end of the install video. It Looks pretty good in my opinion. I think the uh, shift boot collar cover thing that I got really kind of seals the deal and makes it look great. Uh, it's shifting through all the gears perfectly fine so the cut we did worked awesome. Um, so yeah, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, drop a comment if you have any questions and thanks for watching.